In this tutorial, we'll learn how to export this song we created in a previous video. Since then, I've added more sounds and extended the beat, and I'm ready to export the song. From the file menu, we have a few options for exporting your song. Select WAV file. Name your song and choose a file location to save to on your computer, and when done, this dialog box will appear allowing us to adjust the audio quality, file format, and processing of the export. I'll explain each setting, and if any of these options are missing, press these arrows to expand and see more. Starting with the project type options, select Full Song. Tail gives us three options for handling audio at the end of the song. Cut abruptly stops the export at the end of your playlist selection, or the last marker past any pattern, audio, or automation clips, as shown in this graphic. Leave Remainder allows synthesizers and effects to naturally decay to silence at the end of your song, and Wrap takes the end decay and wraps it back into the start of the exported audio file. This might seem strange, but it's useful for special situations like exporting drum loops. For most cases, we can use Leave Remainder, and you can check that the song length and bar count is what you would expect here. The output format settings here will make the biggest difference to the audio quality of your exported file. You can choose a single file type or export multiple file types at once. WAV and FLAC are both lossless formats, so what you put in is exactly what you get out. WAV file bit depth causes a lot of confusion. 16-bit is CD quality, for those of you who even remember CDs, and it's the highest you need for listening. 16-bit has been the standard for physical and digital distribution for many decades. 24-bit is recommended to reduce re-encoding artifacts when uploading to online digital distribution platforms and social media, such as SoundCloud. And finally, 32-bit is the highest precision for archiving and further audio work. Highest precision does not necessarily mean highest audio quality. 16, 24, and 32-bit audio are normally indistinguishable for the vast majority of humans. And remember, no one's ever ruined a mix by exporting to 16-bit. FLAC will give you the exact same WAV file as the equivalent WAV export, but it uses data compression to reduce the file size. After uncompressing, the input and output wave data is completely identical in every way. You can think of FLAC as a specialized zip compression format for audio data. The compression level here changes the file size, but has no effect on the audio quality. Lossless is truly lossless. Higher compression level settings just take longer to process and export. You're just trading file size for time to create the FLAC file. MP3 and AUG are lossy formats. In simple terms, they throw away as much data as possible while retaining the audible music. This makes the file sizes much smaller than both WAV and FLAC. The bitrate is a huge factor in the file size and the audible quality. You can adjust it with this slider here, and anything above 256 kilobits per second does a very good job but don't use mp3 or AUG files for future production unless you deliberately want a lo-fi effect. To help you hear some of the downsides of lossy compression, try exporting a version of your song at a very low bitrate, such as 40 or 48, and you'll hear the audio artifacts and errors I'm talking about. MID exports a MIDI file with the piano roll and MIDI data for the project, but as this tutorial is focused on audio exporting, we'll save that for another day and move on. In this case, I'm going to select WAV file, 16-bit, and also make sure that I have stereo selected from this list. These quality settings relate to the processing of FL Studio synthesizers and effects while exporting. Leaving them at these default settings won't get you into any trouble, but they don't play a large part in the audible quality of the export. If you need a 16-bit dithered output, Set it here, and again, no one ever ruined a good mix by forgetting to dither. It's not a critical step, but I will link an in-depth tutorial in the video information covering the topic of dithering, since it's very deep and technical. Then we have the miscellaneous settings here. These four on the right are the most important for now, as they change the sound of the file. These four on the left add metadata and information, such as the project tempo. 
there's no audio change, so we'll ignore those for now. You must enable master effects and insert effects, otherwise all your effect plugins will be turned off. The master and insert effects can be found here for each channel, and you can use the valve icon at the bottom to switch off all the effects on a channel. For instance, I'll turn off all the effects on the guitar track, and you can hear what that sounds like. This is why it's important to keep enable master effects and enable insert effects turned on because you definitely want all that processing in your final file. Let's look at trim PDC delay. This simply trims any unwanted processing related silence from the start of your song that might have been added to keep all of the tracks in sync. Just keep this turned on. Split mixer tracks is a great function which exports each mixer track individually something we'll cover in detail in a different tutorial. Briefly looking at those metadata options on the left, some file formats such as WAV allow you to save information within the file such as tempo information, so if you want to save any of that stuff, feel free to check those boxes too. And finally there's an option to upload directly to SoundCloud. Log into your account here and it will upload after exporting. Make sure to set visibility to only me so that you can check before making it public later on SoundCloud. At the bottom, select Show Files when complete and press Start to begin the render. You'll see the progress bar move here and your file will open when complete. We can then listen to this file or drag and drop it back into the project. Turn off everything else and take a listen. That's all for this video, so until next time, enjoy exporting your projects.